Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to run commands in Java, that's system commands. So to run a command in Java, we can use runtime.getRuntime and then exec. So we can execute a command like this. So here we've got the runtime get runtime. This is just a static object. And we've got some static methods. And here we execute whatever command we want to run. And then we close the output stream to execute the command. And then we've got two input streams, the normal input stream, which is standard out, and the error stream. Now I've made a command result object and the read stream method is reading the input stream and the error stream into two different uh, string arrays in the command result. So if we look at the command result, we've just got two strings arrays, an out and an error, and we can get those and add to them from the command class. We've got an output error message and a two string. So the two string method of this object is going to be the what we want to output if we want to see the results of the um, of running the command. So I've got a main method here. Um, all I need to do is be, it's a static method, so I'm not going to create any objects or anything like that. All I need to do is run command. And for example, we can run an application. So let's try notepad. This uh, program will block whilst Notepad is running. So if I run the Notepad, Notepad opens up, the program's still running. When I close Notepad, the program closes. Now, another thing we can do is we can run like command lines. So if I run the command, with cmd for command line and then slash c, I can run a command. For example, I could do dir for directory and c colon backslash. I need a second backslash in there just to escape the backslash in the string. I just need to system out print line the result there. So that I'm system out print lining the uh, two string method of the command result. So now when we run that, I see my directory of my C drive. Okay, so that's how to run system commands from Java. Uh, so you can use this to launch other applications. You could use it to launch batch files or you could use it to do file operations, rename files, copy files around or whatever you need to do. So thanks for watching.